Finally, finally, would you risk the fall to make a point? Well, I would, actually, if it was the only way to force the point. That seems to everyone. Everyone is afraid of what happens if we don't raise the debt ceiling. I'm afraid of what happens if we do. Now, do not, do not get me wrong. I'm not crazy. I don't advocate risking insolvency just to force the issue. I'm just saying we're still risking insolvency by kicking the can down the road on this issue. I want you to think about that. We are on the verge of a downgrade with a government very much open for business. Our problems are what they are, not because the government was closed and not able to do anything. Our problems are what they are, precisely because the government is open and doing lots of things. Most of them wrong, like spending money we don't have and on scores of entitlements whose very viability we can't sustain. That's so they know it and we know it, but they do nothing about it. And they feign shock that financial ratings agencies are worried about it. Trust me, trust me. Our financial house of cards is crashing down, debt limit or no debt limit. I just don't know the exact trigger. I do know the markets will push that trigger, though, whether we default on our debt and make it very abrupt, or we keep piling on our debt and we just make it very, very painful. One way or the other, we are going to get hit, because these numbers just keep spinning by. And it's going to get ugly, my friends. But I know it's going to get Washington off its collective behinds. Because nothing wakes you up like staring at death. We've long ignored the Grim Reaper. Maybe it's time we became better acquainted. Maybe it's time we were shaken to the core. Maybe that would shake us to our senses and start accounting for our dollars and cents. Now, I don't welcome such a day of reckoning. But I reckon it is the only way we'll reckon, period. Someone likened it to me once about uh, being in college. You know, you have a big exam. And, and you know that exam date's coming, right? And then and you, and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. You're putting off, you're putting off. And then the night before, you pull an all-nighter because you know this is your last chance. I was always early in college with things. I never pulled all-nighters. Met my wife, you know, woman who would become my wife, heard about these all-nighters. I spent one just seeing what it was all about. They just ate donuts and studied. I thought I had wasted all my time in college not taking advantage of that. That's what we're doing now, except no donuts, at least that we can pay for.